Hey guys, we're here with our new series, uh, the brand new Imperator Rome. Uh, I wanted to get this video out yesterday, but I was uh, really sick and couldn't talk, so we're going to do this today. Um, and you click on this button to get the started to load here. I've debated it, and I think I am just going to go with Rome. I played a little bit of the tutorial before this to get a little feel for this, and I've watched some videos. So I know some what I'm what I'm doing, but not really. I mean, it is easy difficulty, so it's not that challenging. It says. Um, okay. I don't know, I just didn't notice those before. I wanted to take a look at them. Uh, but I really would like to just play Rome. Yeah, there's not much reason to it, but... Uh, I really want to fight Carthage. I really want to take over the Italian Peninsula, and... It is easy. Uh, I don't even know how you'd say that. Fyrk? The Seleucids might also be really cool later on. A massive empire all the way on the other side. You got probably lots of civil wars. Macedonia here is probably what we're going to be playing next because... Oh, that'd be so much fun to try to take over all of Greece. She's got a little bit here, right? But no, today we are going to be playing... Uh, oh, that's Egypt. I knew Egypt would be on here somewhere, but okay. Uh, we're going to be playing Rome. And we're going to try to take over Italy. Or make Italy, I guess. Um... Should I turn on Iron Man mode? Sure, why not? Uh, this is just to play around in, so if something happens or goes wrong with the save, uh, we'll just start a new game. So uh, I'll actually be getting achievements for once. But uh, let's get this started. Sure, that saves fine. Uh, let me start my timer here, finally. Uh, for Rome, Rome, the Roman Republic, campaigns. So, Rome is who you start as in the tutorial. Um, and because of that, I know a couple things. Like, these guys don't have any allies. They might be a nice, easy one to start off with. These guys don't have any allies, except for the, uh, the Lucania down here. But we have a ton of subjects. Literally a ton of them. Um and they would be very useful. Um, I don't like this mix that they gave me to begin with, but it's fine. Uh, sure, you're fine. I'm gonna move you up here because we're gonna do an early war. Uh, these ships... Um, give him to someone who's extremely loyal. Oh, we don't need to give it to our current commander. No. There. Uh, in, uh, inventions, uh, we're going to go for the national tax modifier, because I, the only problem with this game so far, I've, uh, or at least my problem with this game, is I can't figure out the economy yet. Um, because I, I keep running out of money really quickly. Scorned families, I don't know what to do about this yet. Um, omens, we're going to have some early wars here, so discipline for the armies. That wouldn't be a bad choice. Um, we only have one trade route, that's a little different than the tutorial. Uh, we can't declare war until November uh, 1st, so one month. That's enough time to get our troops up there. Um, local tax modifier, commerce, civilization rating, um, We'll get a marketplace in uh, Campania here, and... Uh, I 
Well, no. I guess we'll save the money for now. How's our economy? Eh, pretty good. Um... Remove low fleet maintenance because we're going to be fighting land wars here, not ocean going conflicts. Um, other than that, I think we're going to play here. We're going to play it on a relatively slow speed because I'm not great at this game yet. Yeah, we have tons of manpower, but not enough money. Oh, there. November 1st. So if I were to declare war, all my subjects would join me. They don't have anyone with them. Uh, right. Getzel, uh, there was one thing I was supposed to do beforehand. Uh, covert actions down here? Uh, get, fabricate me a claim on... I mean, we're going to be eating all of this, so... Uh, sure, just the higher population one. But now if I go over here... Oh, we had to wait another month. Alright, that's fine. I should have started with that, but the, it'll be fine. Uh, these guys are going to successfully build some forts over here before I can attack them, because I'm not going for them first, like I did in the tutorial. It's fine. Um... Offer from an alliance of who? Who are these guys? Um. Should I or not? Eleven. I mean, eventually I'm going to want your stuff. So that's my real debate here. I'm going to decline the offer. I just want subjects. I don't want uh, friends. Uh, oh, wait, pause. We're finally, uh, within time. And take the territory that we want. We're gonna go for show superiority, but it should be. And show superiority will force this to increase the tyranny by five. Whereas if I do this, it's the exact same. Move on their 4,000 right here, and my allies should be able to move up quickly and uh, take them out over there. Yes, low naval maintenance, but we don't care about that. Yeah, they're going to go attack my allies over here, but that's fine because I'm going to completely crush their stuff. Um, what was this? An envoy from the Latin, no, Latin local power is requesting an import of iron from the province of Let. Oh, these are our allies. Uh, yes, you can have iron. Um, anyway, what is our surpluses? That was probably why I wasn't making any money in the um, tutorial. No one was importing from me. It was a really hard time to uh, make armies and stuff when you didn't have any money coming in. 
Um, I want to build more troops. I don't know if this is the right time, though. Five of those and three Velites, along with two Equites. We're going to rebalance this army up here to look like this one. The end of the recent conflict with the Eritreans uh, has left our republic strong position in our Italian peninsula. Our Everyone now looks to Semi in Eritrea, to the Sicily and Carthage, waiting our next move. As they should. Our allies are going to deal with them there. The only trouble with all these subjects is that eventually they can turn against you. And those are our Velites. I want to go mostly heavy infantry and light cavalry and light other units. Uh, a very traditional, actual, historically correct Roman uh, army set up here. Isn't there one more that I'm waiting on? Or am I mistaken? I might have only ordered one cavalry, that's fine. Oh, that's where one of them went. Nope. Wait for the other guy. Yeah, we're gonna rebalance you completely. Yeah, we're losing money now. There, just in case our ally needs help, but they probably won't. You stay there. I'm going to trim this army back quite a bit. Mostly just to its own. Um, Get rid of the cavalry contingent here. Nope, cancel. I want to create a new unit. I want to take out three of these archer units. I guess they'd be called Oops. cohorts. Oh, I took out too many. I wanted only two of them. Well, you know what? I don't really want archers anyway. 
I'd much prefer the Villa phase. Right, I also want you to perform bottleneck. Not shock and all. Alright, we'll move up to speed three here. Get things going. We can become friends. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, child's born to my console. It's fine. decreases research. That could get us an extra trade route. Oh, there we go. We will be taking everything along with as much money as you have. And yes, we will kill our enemies. My boy had from the Hellenistic city states. Uh, they would like to gain the following bonus. This is one of our subjects, so I'm going to say yes to this. It's the little one down here. Uh, sure. And we have another trade route. Here, um... You're already importing... What is that? Grain? Um, we should highlight these when you're trying to scan over them. So we've taken that. We don't have a ton of money left. I want to go to war with these people, but... Oh, you got another friend now. Who are you? Oh, yeah, this little guy down here. You're fine. I mean, we could probably win if we did go to war here. I kind of want you to be a little heavier before we go to war, though. So we're going to pull you back. 
And we're going to put you down. Over there. And we're going to go over here to the macro builder. And I want... Three Velites and two Equites. We'll be running two armies of 10,000 men. So Rome seems to be able to build units really fast for some reason. Maybe it was just that one unit in the way I clicked it, but it seemed to work really quickly. Uh, following unit lacks a commander. An alliance office from Eritrea? No, I wanted to take bites out of Eritrea sooner or later. Who's your friend? Alright, this guy up here. And uh, trade deals. Now yeah, I know there's lack of commanders because those units are just going to be folded into this one. Alright. One cohesive unit. Uh, decline. Mm -hmm. armies here. They have a pretty strong one over here. Where do I see my aggressive... Oh, there it is. Um, pauses for a second. So our aggressive expansion is 6.9. If it gets too high, other people might start forming alliances against me. Although the more important problem is our internal uh, struggles. Rome has the Casus Belli against the Samnites. This will allow Rome. Okay, so we already have uh, some ability to declare war on many of these other people. Uh, so I don't need to form uh, Casus Belli against them. Wait a minute. You no longer are in, a, are in an alliance with anyone. Well, now. And that army there, the 10,000 troops, is all they have. Because I looked on the thing and uh, they only have 10 cohorts. So that's it. And it's light infantry and archers. Oh, how wonderful. Our heavy infantry and cavalry should be able to tear that apart. Um... I will move this down to, like, speed 2. And they're going to move against them all over here. Yeah, let's guarantee our victory here. Because smashing their army right out would be perfect. 
Oh yeah, they just had the wrong unit mix. Um, yeah, move my other legion out of there. All right, so they also have a fort up here that needs to be conquered. Oh, actually, that was taken because we have a fort nearby. Uh, but they also have a fort nearby, and it's causing us some trouble. Um, and the way we have to move. So, here. Pause for a second. There's a fort mode that I can actually see. Alright, so the only forts they have are up here and here. Good to know. Taking control of that. Oh, right, and we also own this territory. That's why this is being conquered over here. So this is ours as well. I mean, we had to take them out. We had to connect our two territories. Of course we did to do that. We're almost at the end of this uh, first episode here, but... This is a very successful first episode. my allies are going to do with that. Well, this army goes and pillages down here. Uh, these pillars here mean that they are a province capital. And if I want to take the province, I have to take the capital. So, um, those are pretty important to take. Yeah, I like the idea of running with these 10,000 uh, or 10 cohort units. I do not like the idea of running with that. Um, where on earth did you come from? I should probably run, but I don't really want to. While my allies are still stuck up there. We'll come over here. It says that we're going to win here. I'm guessing because they have light infantry and archers versus my cavalry and heavy infantry. Along with a small contingent of uh, light infantry. We'll find out. This first step uh, game is really to figure out what, how things work. I think our allies jumped in here. Yeah, look, they're about to jump in. So it was the right move to stand and fight. Plus, the enemy has a disadvantage uh, with the terrain. Oh, yeah. We got him here. We'll take quite a few losses from this. Undoubtedly. But, overall, this is going to be a massive victory. Along with all my allies, we're going to move in on this. Take this out. And it's just the two forts up top. And I do want to eat the entirety of this, but then we're going to have to wait. Because too much expansion will cause your, uh, a civil war. And we do not want civil wars. Wow, we took some really heavy losses. There. Sure, we'll jump in and help them out. Just move there. So we almost have this fort. They almost have that fort. Close to the end here. This is another province capital, so I'm going to need this if I want to take control of all of this. We're about to reach our time here, but uh, we'll go a couple minutes over. A couple minutes over. Ugh, I can't speak, apparently. Okay, so that was taken. You're going to take that. I'm not going to move in there because I'll get attrition like you are currently. I might not be able to eat all of this, actually. Now that I think about it. 
even though we're going to be completely control them. We have it. Now let's pause here. Oh, that's not what I want. I want a sue for peace. I want this. Both those forts are going to be necessary. That there. That there. And you will accept that. Uh, I'm also going to take as much money as I can get. Quite a bit. And yes. We will kill our enemies, and we are now the Latin local uh, power. Uh, oh no, that's what we killed. Okay. Uh, set you to independent operations. Set you to independent operations, and you'll go do your thing. Um, now if I go over the economy, yeah, we're making quite a bit of money. Um, and we're going to sit on our hands for a little bit. Uh, what is this? I have another Latin power of... Is requesting import of wine? Yes, you may have our wine. So I go over here. Oh, we do have a surplus of grain, but we are exporting quite a few things. Which means we're making quite a bit of money. Which means we can also go and build some things. Uh, Rome needs a marketplace. Yep, there's my timer. And, uh... I don't know. I want to put another granary down. I don't know where to put it, though. in the Roman port here. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, until next time, you guys, have a great day, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!